Hey, it's to be Day Phantoms fans. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be looking at the Phantoms weekend this far as they take one and lose one as they beat the Hershey Bears, who were taking one today at 2.05, and of course, lost to the Wilkesbury Scranton Baby Penguins last night by a score of 3 to 2. Um, when it came to the 6 to 3 win, as expected, Felix Sandstrom made all the saves he needed to make. The shots, though, it was a low shot total game, excuse me. 20 to 13, uh, 20 to 14, excuse me. Um, according to the uh, Phantom 365 app, and then one for three on the power play from Hershey, one for one the Lehigh Valley. Brandon Saunier, of course, had that great stick to it in this goal from the side as he got the bounce, and Matthew Strom had the assist to be the first of three points in the first period for Matthew Strom, who's been hot as a firecracker, been a huge part of the Phantom since he's got caught up. Even in games he hasn't scored, he's laid on big hits, blocked shots, and has been a part of the game, and, and noticeable in the game is a great way to put it. Alex Kyle, who's been pretty damn noticeable since coming here, has been very good since coming here from Danny Breyer's May Mariners, had a very nice goal. As well, Matthew Strom then finished with a great play where it was tic-tac-toe passing that he was able to score um, in the first period. Um, and then you have Garrett Wilson, of course, uh, close this one off uh, with the empty netter. Uh, later on, Logan Day had a beautiful shot as well that Hayden Hodgson was able to get an assist on. And then Hayden Hodgson got an assist on Cal O'Reilly's goal as well against Hershey. And then when it came to Wilkes-Barre Scranton, the issue there is it's in the red. Obviously, the, the, the Phantoms 365 app puts stuff in the red when it gets to a certain degree. 35 shots to only 22. Um, Usti, the, the goal he went back is obviously to, to Nathan Legere, uh, where he got it to squeak through his wickets. But otherwise, he's the reason why the Phantoms were still in that game. They even said it on the service electric broadcast. He made some beautiful saves in order to keep him in it. Um... And if it wasn't for Karo Ustamenko, who's been doing that all season since, we have to remember, he came off a of hip surgery, it takes a little bit to battle back from that, since he's been back and back at the regular Usti since really December, um, he's been playing like a bat out of hell for the Royals, and um, playing like one of the best goaltenders, just above a 930 save percentage down there in the ECHL, comes in, plays a very good game in this game, unfortunately let in one goal squeak through, but then the, the other play was Pierre Olivier Joseph getting around Hayden Hodgson, who played a good game overall, but on that play got beat by one of the more skilled offensive defensemen in the league. Um, and then you have Cal O'Reilly um, was able to get a goal, which was an assist to Brad Morrison, a former running Royal, um, that was able to get an assist in his first game in the AHL with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Uh, the secondary assist from the beautiful pass when Zamula did a head fake on the uh, defender for Wilkes-Barre Scranton, and then was able to get it across ice to Cal O'Reilly so he could snipe it. And then Linus Hogberg, who's been playing good all season, as well as Adam Glendening, who's been the most productive offensive defenseman, was able to shoot it on net, Glendening was, to be able to get the deflection from Maxime Shusko. <clears throat> uh, this was a game that just goes down in the category of, do you allow too much bombardment from the other team? The reason it was more close, yes, he let in one bad goal to Nathan Lagare. I know people are going to say that, but otherwise, the only reason this game was a 3-2 to two game was the fact that Karu Ustamenko was able to make some key saves early, make some key saves late. He saved Mason Millman early, former Reading Royal as well, saved his former teammate down there from Reading early on a breakaway after he was able to, after he fell, and I can't remember who the attacker was, but Wilkes Bray's player brought it in, and then he made a huge key save there. He was doing that throughout the night. I would give him definitely an A for the way he played. The way the overall defense played would probably be like a C in this game. And then the way the offense was able to push some later in the game, I would give that like a B. But it, it wasn't the best overall game. Uh, I would like to see, obviously, our Lehigh Valley fans. I'll be up there today covering the game um, in the press box for Flyers Nitty Gritty. I would like to see them come with a lot more oomph early and not have a tired start like they seem to have. Obviously, yes, this is three games in three days, but it's also three games in three days for Hershey, who had to go back to play Belleville in Hershey yesterday and then come back here. So they should be more tired, not us. So I hope the Lehigh Valley Phantoms come out stronger against the Hershey Bears 
today and kind of pounce early and they're able to kind of put them down one nothing early and hopefully just keep building from that and maybe draw them like the Hayden Hodgins of the world, the Garrett Wilsons of the world, the Shawnees of the world, try to draw them into those bad penalties. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Enjoy the game today. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to 200 by the end of February. Peace out, everybody.